Dave and this is Logan out once again for a walk in the countryside. Thanks for joining us. Now today we're at a place called Bishopstoke which is about a mile to the east of Eastleigh in Hampshire. And we're basically going to be doing a five mile circular route initially heading north alongside the Itchen navigation and then turning round and coming south through some beautiful meadows back towards Bishopstoke. As well as some beautiful scenery along the way, we're going to see a little bit of the, the history of the navigation and also the odd surprise along the way as well. So do join us. Well, I've parked my car at a little road called Riverside, which is just off the B3037. And I've made my way to the Itchen Navigation. So let me show you it. And this is what we'll be following for a fair chunk of the first half of our walk. So it's a, a canal that runs just over 10 miles from Winchester to Southampton, completed in 1710 and was in use until 1869. And it's basically an improved river with the, the main river Itchen being used for some sections and locks used to bypass difficult sections. So along the route basically we're going to get uh, scenes of the navigation, in other words the canal, um, and then that's quite separate in parts from the river. So this bit here is the, the canal and the river Itchen itself is just a a few yards to the uh, to the east of here and this is our first lock of the day <laughs> it's called um, Stoke Lock quite impressive and the channel on the right hand side I'll try and get a photograph up that was specifically put in there to uh, allow eels and salmon to uh, swim upstream we're basically going to head north, as said, for the first part of the walk uh, along the, the towpath of the navigation itself. And I'll turn around to show you what I'm looking at. Uh, there was the really the opening of the London to Southampton Railway in 1840 that started the decline of the navigation. And from time to time, I think there are something like five of these. These are special uh, dog dips that they've built. <laughs> alongside the bank basically to stop the erosion of the the bank i remember i saw one of these at uh, um on our shawford walk at compton lock well for a moment i thought you were going to give us a demonstration are you going to go in <laughs> looks as though you might oh, go on <laughs> i know um logan won't jump in here we go, here's a demonstration. Now Logan, that's what you should be doing. <laughs> oh, fighting against the current. <laughs> Is it a he or a she? He. he. What's his name? Leo. Leo, go on Leo. <laughs> oh, good boy. Logan is totally confused at the whole situation. <laughs> it's not really. <laughs> uh, well done. <laughs> oh, just crossing over a little bridge here. So we've got the navigation on our right and then a, a little river on the left. And this is called the Barton River. It goes off west, although it does rejoin the Itchen further downstream but uh, over we go uh, some horses enjoying the early morning sunshine over there <laughs> now I'm filming oh middle of August but it's something like half past seven in the morning and the reason we're doing our walk so early is the forecast today is going to be well over 30 32 degrees later on so we'll do our walking early. <laughs> wow, this really is a peaceful walk along here. And, uh, quite an enchanting scene. The water's quite free flowing here and very clear. I can see plenty of 
fish in there. I'll, I'll try and take some photographs, but they don't always come out uh, quite so, um, so well. But as I said, it is clear, so I might have a bit more luck this time. So, so I'm reliably informed by these two lovely ladies, this is what's known as wild swimming. <laughs> what's the temperature like in there? Yeah. Sometimes on your face, it's freezing. Yeah. What's amazing? It is amazing. Yeah, it looks fun. How far are you going to go up? Uh, probably to the bend. All oh, right. Because this bit, when it's open, it's a lot easier. Yeah. When it narrows, it's, yeah. it's hard going. We're getting oh. better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. Brilliant. <laughs> we'll um, we'll stay up on the bank and keep dry, I think. <laughs> far distance I can just about make out a, a roe deer I think that's what it is I can only see the back I can see it's antler yeah it's definitely a roe deer I'll see if I can get my um, other camera out although that's not got a great zoom that's on side onto me now and looking at me yeah definitely looking at the antlers that's definitely a, a row. I'm just going over the canal this is the the Withy Mead Lock down here you can still see the brick remains on the side there and then heading on this side and again looking down there some of the remains many of these locks were um, constructed of uh, with turf sides so there's not much left of many of them I'm now walking on the eastern side or the towpath is on the eastern side of the the canal and it does have that sort of chalk stream look to it with the gravel bottom and I don't know if you can see there's some uh, metal fencing on the other side because behind there is the massive um, Eastley railway uh, yard uh, quite a substantial setup there and this is the first of the, the two railway bridges that were going to go under. This is the London and uh, London to Southampton uh, track that we're going under. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not because it is quite dark in here but you can see where they've added an extension to the bridge. They've widened the line. Actually you can probably see it a little bit better if I point the camera in that direction. So we've got the original uh, bridge and line on the right and then the extension on the left. Okay, a little bit spooky along here. <laughs> At least it's nice and cool because the temperature is beginning to, to rise outside. Well, this part of the walk, <laughs> it gets interesting because we can be nosy and look into the, the back gardens that uh, these folk have that look out to, or come back down to the canal side. Oh. Quite an interesting amount of objects over there. <laughs> Different. <laughs> I imagine it must be quite pleasant having you your breakfast out on the uh, veranda first thing in the morning and goodness me what have we got over there it looks like a London
transport bus stop sign over there. We've just crossed the B3335, still continuing heading north. This is the Oldbrook Lock. And this is one of the few brick ones, so there's quite a bit of it still left. But now, looks like there's a weir here. But isn't that a lovely sight? And the sound of the, the water. Beautiful. Oh wow, it really is so pretty along here. And the reflections of the trees in the water and the, the sunlight. Isn't that wonderful? And then on my left are water meadows. And of course in days gone by they would have uh, um, opened up channels and sluices and deliberately flooded the the water meadows bringing nutrients onto the soil and then that way they'd be able to get well, two really decent crops of hay each year. Wow, look at these guys enjoying a drink. They're certainly getting uh, <laughs> getting cooled down right up to their uh, their chests. Oh look at the little baby as well. So cute. I've never seen so many in one place either. <laughs> You're enjoying yourselves? Oh, what a superb setting to cool down and have a drink though. Brilliant. We've now come to a, a significant part of the walk where the River Itchin rejoins up with the canal. So behind me we've got the smooth flowing canal as you can see there and then to the east of it is the River Itchin and the two will join up very shortly. The River Itchin itself uh, 28 miles long its source is at a place called Cheriton uh, not far from Winchester and it flows all the way down to the sea at Southampton. Much much um, uh, flowing much quicker than the canal all reminds me of that uh, little bit from Wind in the Willows where they described the river as a babbling procession of the, the best stories in the world sent from the heart of the earth to be told at last to the insatiable sea and here we are canal on one side middle bridge and then we've got the river on the other side. It looks out like we're on some form of otter trail. So keep your eyes peeled, Logan. <laughs> this is otters. Well, oh, I better come back to my dad. Not sure about those. <laughs> yeah, it's our favorite part of the walk. Blackberry picking time. <laughs> Looks this one there, or you want that one? What about this one? That's ready. Shall I hold it for you? I'll pick it for you. There we go. <laughs> Another one. They're juicy, but they're not very big. And um, we'll have one more, shall we? What about that one? <laughs> Come on, pit stop over. Oh, the sun is baking hot now. <laughs> we haven't got the nice uh, shade by the canal anymore, but we're coming across these terrific open meadows. Time for some Whippet Zoomies.
cool down there. <laughs> yeah. Give me a bit of a cool down. Yeah. <laughs> coming out. Well, just coming back into Bishopstoke, just going to do a little detour through a retirement village. I'll explain more as we go on. Okay, what we're going to be doing is coming down a little permissive way that uh, goes alongside a massive development that's going on at the moment. And it's a fascinating little walk. Well, it really is getting quite warm now, but I mustn't complain, <laughs> especially if you're watching this in the middle of, of winter. Now, this little woodland uh, trail that I'm in now is in the grounds of uh, the Mount, which was a house built in the 1840s here by a wealthy farmer. And then it was rebuilt in the 1890s. And in fact, if I turn the camera around, I can show you the, uh, well, what's uh, left of the, uh, that house. And it was bought by a chap called Thomas Cotton. He collected wild birds and had aviaries. He was basically a zoologist. And then in the 1920s, I think 1927, it was bought by the Hampshire County Council and it became a, a hospital, a TB isolation unit initially, and then a hospital for, uh, for geriatrics. But uh, nowadays it's uh, been converted into a, a huge retirement village and quite an impressive one as well. And I say all the way along these walks there are these posts with a, a metal cage uh, and inside there's a looks like a golden sculpture and they relate to different aspects of the area so there's one of um, seen a couple of fish which I guess that's got something to do with the, the test and there was one with a, an eagle inside I guess that relates to the zoologist bit but Adds a bit of fun to the walk. Well, we're nearly at the end of our walk, coming back into uh, Bishopstoke, and behind me is the current church. And I'll just show you the Church of St Mary's. Now, this church was built in 1891, uh, although it looks as though it work might have started on it before then. And you can see it's got a very impressive parapet tower. I think there are 10 bells in there. The bell tower was actually added in 1909 but uh, it replaced a, a much earlier church that was too small for the parish that was located down the road. We'll have a look at that one shortly. And just four or five hundred yards or so further south from the church is the site of the original church and you can still just about make out the the boundary here. It was, um, I mean there was a church here way back in Saxon times but um, it was uh, effectively rebuilt in 1825. Well, as I mentioned earlier it was just too small for the parish and so the new one was built up the road. This one was demolished in the early 1900s although the tower was still here until as recently as the the 1960s I believe but uh, still obviously the uh, the gravestones alongside of the wall but these days it's just an area set aside for the public to uh, to enjoy well folks we've come to the end of our walk we hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a, a thumbs up and a like and uh, do make a comment and of course as I keep saying if you haven't already subscribed please do so. That way hopefully you'll be able to join us for another walk in the countryside sometime in the future. We've had a super walk today. The weather has been absolutely gorgeous. The first part of the walk alongside the canal in the shade was terrific and then coming back we had a lot of fun in all those meadows and enjoy keeping in the shade under this tree now. We're off to find a nice pub for some light refreshment. <laughs> so until we meet again, thanks for watching and cheerio. We're both pretty hot now aren't we? Mm -hmm.